We're back. <sighs> this is a sad. Uh, this is been, sad. I feel, like, I feel like these last like five, six podcasts we've came on. Survivor, ugh. Big Brother, ugh. Amazing Race. What is this week? What's happening? Girl, Felicia. I thought Andrea and Elena, <laughs> Sifu, all the black. This is a terrible week to be black on CBS this reality TV. Week. I wonder if that if them black men won buddy games. They probably went home black too. Men, they're black then with the black the, men. There. It was a black team on buddy games that I was trying to pay attention to, but girl, they probably lost because this is a terrible week. This is a terrible week. It's been it's been a bad week to be black. Like Andrew and Melinda, still... Andrew and Melinda was such a great casting choice. I love watching them so much. Out of towners, out of towners, out of towners. Like I just feel like I hope they know they brought and then joy. This was just so like uh, they brought this, just so like much this. enjoyment to a lot of TV screens, and we was rooting for y'all. We was rooting down. Okay, we loved y'all. Bring back. The non-elimination legs, okay? Y'all know I've been watching old TAR, bitch. <laughs> they have a non-elimination leg every two or three fucking episodes. This should have been giving non-elimination motherfucking episode, bitch. Give them a speed bump and keep them in the game. I'm so yeah. upset. I love them so much. <laughs> I love them so much. It's like, ugh, I hate this episode for him. I feel for them. I feel like everything that happened, like, ugh, like, why is this the way they go home? Like, why is <sighs> this how it was? Like, this was just so, ugh. Ugh, some bullshit. And then it makes everything else that was happening I don't even care about. My girls are out. Ugh, what am I going to do? Child, so anyway. Girl, why I just Google and that black team did lose? But again, You're lying! They did. Black people <sighs> stay in the house this week. God damn. <laughs> stay in the house till Sunday. God. It was a runner-up, so they, they got second. That <sighs> doesn't make me feel better. <laughs> That doesn't make me feel that better at all. But hey, we here. All right, y'all. I mean, we 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 go here. We we, we, we the... dang girl. You can't even talk. We gonna talk no, about it's, it. Like it's, that. It's, it's that bad. But it sucks because I it's also hate. Bad. I hate episodes like this because I mean, basically, we knew Andrew Melania was losing from the beginning because of the negation and the time. Like it was pretty obvious, and the edit couldn't really change that. So. Mm-hmm. So I'm just watching shit that I knew the whole time. So, anyways, at the beginning, they had to fly to Germany. Everybody on the same flight. Lee said everybody used to not be on the same flight. So why are they not doing? Well, that? I just feel like it's like from watching these older seasons, it just is way less organized. Like I feel like mm-hmm. this feels like they're still taking c- catching COVID flights. Like they've kind of all been on consistent like flight. Like I feel like in the previous seasons, there are flights available to get there hours earlier. There are flights that have connecting flights for like 30 minutes to an hour. And I feel like all of these flights have just been from here to here. Like, it's just very, very simple. So I don't know. Maybe they're just better. I, I, I don't know. But I feel like I saw somewhere else, like I think in one of our comments, that they kind of changed it over time in general. So I don't know. Yeah, I did. Oh, and, oh, Luis and Michelle said it on Croquette Gotcha that they just changed it over time. So that's probably what it is. That sucks because I feel like that would be entertaining. But I mean, hey, we're here. It we're is entertaining, but also sometimes it's just not fun. Like I remember, uh, I just watched Rachel and Brendan on All Stars. They mm-hmm. had a thirty minute layover, and most people who try to get a layover, they they fuck up. But Rachel and Brendan made that thirty minute layover. They got in the lead, Very. and they got last. But you know, they was gonna leave. <laughs> okay. Well, that was kind of interesting. If they if they did if they didn't make that connecting flight though, they would have been out because there was no way for them to catch up to the other teams without taking the connecting flight. So mm-hmm. in situations like that, it can be lackluster because we have five teams arriving and only three two hours behind. So and those three two hours behind remain two hours behind. Yeah. But depending on the cast, this stays interesting. Okay. Um, so maybe it's a good thing they don't do it no more, but I don't know. I also kind of don't like how, how, for example, they're all going to Germany on the flight, so now they're all on the same flight, they're back equal. And it's kind of like y'all do a lot of resets, they do a lot of resets. I don't know if this is a newer season thing, Mm -mm. that happens a lot on a lot of these older seasons. It's random some days, y'all all all on the same flight. Some days you're only on two flights. Some day because it's just, it's what's available. So I just don't know if maybe the flight mm-hmm. patterns are just different. Because mm-hmm. back then I'm seeing like there would be multiple different flights available, and it's not giving. Like I don't know. Like it's not. I don't know if they're renting out planes or whatever have you. But like there's just not spaces available. So I've seen situations where almost everyone is on the same plane, 
But obviously, regular people are also getting these tickets. And then uh, uh, the person that departs last, just because they were departing last, have to get on the later flight. So they're basically mm-hmm. last the entire time. So I feel like in situations like that, I feel like you prevent that. Because I feel like we haven't really been seeing that. Like, no one has just been left behind because of plane delay. But I don't know. I feel like that drama is still kind of interesting, if edited correctly. So I don't know. I'm iffy about it because what I've noticed about the Amazing Race, a lot of it can just be luck. A lot of people go That's home true. because of shit that they cannot control. Taxi drivers, checkers, the, the weather, like <laughs> transportation <laughs> breaking down. I, I, I was complaining this season about who, who was their team? Ileana and Elizabeth? Mm-hmm. How their taxi driver took up to the wrong detour? Yeah. I don't think that was them at all. This shit just happens. These taxi drivers <laughs> will just drive and claim they know where they're going and don't know where the fuck they're going. I guess they just want to be on TV. I don't know. Oh, no. But something was just not in your control. And I guess it's up to you to be a proactive person and be like, uh-uh, like, let me take control, because some people do do that. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know. You know. That's okay. I mean, hey, so maybe maybe it's okay that the flights are connected. And that's the thing. My thing is, if that's just the race, if that's what the amazing race is, I don't know. I don't see it. But if the, I've never seen it. But if that's what the race is, where they just end up all on the same flight sometimes, then that's the race. You better get to it. And I kind of like that, too. I don't hate it because that just means to me that you can have a reset. You can have a reshuffle. You have a chance to get back to the beginning of the pack. So, I mean, hey, there's your chance. Get it going. What I've noticed is teams usually, even if there's a reshuffle, it's usually still around the same type of organization. Like, yeah. if you was at the top when it wasn't reshuffle, you was probably still at the top even when it reshuffled. That kind of shows you who's that girl and who's not that girl. Or mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let me put up these pictures. Try, I was going to do it. Let me try to figure it out. You got to Add the stage. Okay. okay. Wait. Add the stage. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to put us to the side. Not that side. Okay. I got to double Correct. click it. Now you got to move me. Why I got to move you? Because you got to put them where I'm at. Look at me. Boom. How do I move? Oh, boom, bitch. It works. Bitch. And, that, and then we also got to move this. Hold on. I got this done. You got that. Look at me. Look at me. You're looking. You're looking. All right. Boom. <laughs> Here's the motherfucking pictures. If you look at them, it's a bitch. What's happening? If you're looking at the screen, then you, 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 you can get all the glitches, is what I said. So, boom. <laughs> They got to fly to Germany. Todd and Ashley mm-hmm. used to live there. Great for them. Yes, when they were pregnant with their first child. Love that. Love that. And then Robin's husband was stationed in Germany. And that's where her first kid, oh, one of her kids was born there, too. So that's wonderful. Your, mom, your mama was born in Germany. Let me tell them my business. <laughs> my mama was born in Germany. I would have not known anything. I know... But Donkey it got Sean. roots. I would have been like, oh, Pharaoh, you got roots here, bitch. All like, I know is Donkey Sean. Don- Donkey Sean. <laughs> but maybe her energy, like her energy from 80 years ago when she was born, would still be there when I was there. Like maybe it was like yeah. it would give us guidance. Athena, guide me. You know what I'm saying? Like it would give Shut us guidance. Up. <laughs> so I think we would do good here just because German is in like, you know, it's in my energy. Like I feel that. Yeah, I feel like that. you're part German. Look, Paul and Ashley and Robin and Chelsea, look where they at. At the top of the pack because they got connections in Germany and that would be us, bitch. Period. Donka shock. Donka shock. Donka shock. Period. So in Germany, they all get there at the same time. They got to drive to a ferry, mm-hmm. ride the ferry across the river to the medieval castle. Yeah. Damn, this sounds like Dora or something. Like, this sounds fake. <laughs> this sounds so fake. <laughs> Over the ferry, up the river, to, to the, the medieval castle. castle. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with me. <laughs> but no, dead ass. And they gotta collect uh historical coins on the way. Like this does not this sounds like a mission. Yeah, they gotta exchange five euros for a bag of coins. This sounds like a mission way out on of the road. Hogwarts road. Legacy. Bitch. Shut up. <laughs> it does. No, it's like, really a lot. Like I was confused. <laughs> I was confused when they first did it. But yes, they gotta ride a pair and get some get some coins and then go to the castle or whatever. So they of course. They driving. Corey. That's her and- self-drive leg, girl. It is. Lee. Now, who would be driving? You. You think me? It got to be you. Honestly, I don't mind it because, bitch, one I feel like I'm good with directions. My thought process would be, bitch, I'm following somebody. Because think about it. If, hey, we, follow, if we follow the... I, my thought process, we got to follow the smartest person. So, I'd be thinking, we got to follow Greg and John, Rob and Corey, and maybe Steve and Lee. 
They would have got us to the right part place. We would have got even there if they more. did it. We last with them, so we know. Yeah. Look, we gotta work it out. We just gotta beat them. See, and that's that's good thinking, and that's what got Robin and Chelsea. That's the only reason <laughs> Robin and Chelsea made it there. No, uh, no, for real, because Greg and John. Look, they said in the last thing that they actually like Greg and John. So I mean, I guess that's true. At least, but it wasn't giving alliance; it was giving use. <laughs> It was, which I support. I ain't go. We would. I mean, hey, thing. look, that would have been us. <laughs> we would have the same thing. So I ain't. Right on the coattails, baby. So they got to drive to the, the the ferry, and Corey is writing down the directions to Rob. I thought yes. that was a good idea. I wouldn't have wrote them down for you. I wouldn't have thought of it. You would just had to say it. If you can say a sign, maybe spell out. And I wouldn't. The thing is, saying the whole thing would confuse me. So if you. Just I was just, the first three phrase, letters. K U N K U N. Boom. But then, what if it's 2KUN? Oh, we got fucked up. We're going to make sure KUN right, KUN left. You got to be just like Google Maps. You got to be just like Google Maps. I think I, I, could, I could do a lot of talking. Period. I could do a lot of, do, a, do it like a brother. Do and like I said, I'm following, so. Period. Either way, we're going to get there. I don't know what to tell you. I, so, yeah. they're all on the way. There's a fork in a row. And on the fork in a row, you could go straight or you go right. You're supposed to go right, which Lena and Morgan don't know what that means. We find out later. <laughs> but <laughs> you're supposed to go right. We'll get to it when we get to it. But it's hilarious. We're supposed to go right. So they go right. But Chelsea and Robin pass it. So here goes the exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea's in the back seat. Robin is in the front seat driving. Chelsea. Let me be Chelsea. Let me be Chelsea. Okay, you be Chelsea. I'm Robin. I'm Robin. I'm Robin. <laughs> oh, that was the turn back there. Oh, then you should say something. Oh, well, I'm just trying to have you not snap at me right now. Oh, okay. So what you want me to do? You just going <laughs> to... <laughs> she said, I'm just trying to have you not give me the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm just trying to have you not give me the wrong direction. Robin and Chelsea, that, that's a... They're ah! hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's a feisty line. What? I love it, though. Honestly. Shout out to them. Give us entertainment, please. Period. If not anything else. If you're going to still be here, please. Don't let it be over. Arriving at the ferry, we get a bunch <laughs> of groups. It's Todd and Ashley, Joel and Garrett, Morgan and Lena, Stephen and Elite. They all getting on that first ferry. They ate that up. Period. Yeah. Robin Mind you. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea Malena Laws. I literally can't. Because you know how everybody was at that fork in the road. Yes. Why is Andrea Malena in the middle of the woods? <laughs> I was so devastated. They were going up the mountain. I'm like, what I, mountain I love, are they you going? know what I absolutely adore about them the most is yes. how they are so calm. Like the girls is getting snippy, arguing with each other. Andrea Malena, like, I think this is the wrong way. Oh, okay. well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, Bro, I love them so much, man. I'm gonna miss to them. Nothing. They're very, very positive. Very positive reinforcement. They, they were, they was getting it done, even though it was taking them a long time. Like, I just fucked with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fucked with. Them. I just hate the turn, the turn of it. Like, it get real bad. <laughs> they start off in the mountains, though. Everybody else is on the ferry, um, except Robin and Chelsea. They pass up the ferry. They done already passed up the wrong place. And then they also passed up the ferry. And then they ended up getting on the wrong ferry. And I thought, who could get on the wrong ferry? And then my sister said, Stop, stop, stop. I just had to stop. Because, because apparently there's a lot of uh, ferries in Frankfurt, Germany. A lot. Because the, the wrong ferry that Robin and Chelsea got on wasn't even the wrong ferry that Andrea and Melania got on. Literally, they got on two different wrong ferries. What else? I don't like about production. Drive. My thing is, you know what I, I hate about production is that they let them do this shit. Just allow with the camera. It's a literal cameraman. <laughs> no, that is the most hilarious thing because what I'm watching is when these teams get lost, that is always a cameraman right on them. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering, what is the cameraman ever thinking? Like, are they? If I was a cameraman, them? this would be me. If I was a cameraman, just be on my phone chilling. <laughs> 
because y'all don't know what y'all doing. <laughs> Especially if we lost. If we lost, I was no, like, No, and then I was watching the exit video. Like, they were, like, in that car driving for hours because so, it was lost. And, like, imagine you just a cameraman sitting there with them. <laughs> like, you know, like. I, 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 on like, my phone. Like, I wonder like, how much. Do I have to focus on what they're doing? <laughs> Like, how much does the cameraman, like, know about the course? Because I just feel like, I hate how they just let them make so many wrong decisions without correcting them. How they get, how they, I'm skipping ahead, but shit, how the fuck they get on the wrong ferry? The ferry takes them to the correct castle. The man exchanges, gives her euro. Like, the girl is doing, the girl is doing it. They were literally completing... (laughs) Ass, but like, it was crazy. But the, the, what's funny is that I've seen this before. I, I honestly, I love that this is kind of how they went out because it's like I feel like OG, OG Amazing Race. Like random, they went up to a random man on the ferry and I exchanged love it. coins. And I they, love it. If they go go out, they went out camp. <laughs> I Wait, you have you ever been on a ferry? Mm-mm. Ferries are interesting to me because it's literally you get on your car, you get on the ferry, and they take you across a river. Like, I'm just, like, confused. Like, where is this concept from? We don't have this in America. Yes, I don't know. I'm just like... Yes, we do. We have ferries? Oh, girl. Well, of I'm course, we're, I mean, we're in the middle of the USA, but, like, in New Orleans, New York, where they have border cities. Water. Like water, sister. I, I'm just thinking, bridge? You don't take the bridge? They have bridges, it's- too? So both of them, multiple, multiple some ferries is for like you can't build a, a bridge over a lake, like a not a big ass lake. I see. This is just interesting to me. You know, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe, we would lose this maybe we would lose. This maybe we would because your ass would be like you don't even know a fucking ferry. <laughs> oh god, I drive right. By. Oh, you driving? You good? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody on the first ferry, and then <laughs> boom, they're going to the cap. Mm-hmm. The castle is a roadblock. The roadblock is, oh, you got to get your witten while you're on the ferry. You got to get the right coins, of course. Yeah. So when you get to the roadblock, you have to figure out how much this witten is in Groshen. So you got to give it to him in Groshen, but you got to okay. use your witten to give it. To, it's like quarters and pennies. You know, they want two quarters and you got to give them 35, 50 pennies. You and get it? They, they give them this little key clue. I, no, I didn't get that at all. You would definitely be doing this roadblock. I would eat this, y'all. When I tell y'all I ate this shit up, bitch, I ate this shit up. Uh, uh, Mad. You think we, you think we, I hope that we would have been with these teams so we would have been early up. Because I don't know how Rob and Corey and Greg and John didn't get it with them. That's true. <laughs> I was, was Greg and John like, where are y'all at? They oh, all left at the same time. I don't know how any of them got lost, really, when I think about it. <laughs> Me too. Follow each other, no? I don't know. <laughs> that was crazy to me. But the, the code was that one Gretchen... Gretchen, like Gretchen. Means. One Gretchen equals twenty five hellers. Four hellers equal one rapping, and two rapping equal one winning. The None goal of, of this, to me. it makes so much sense. I got it in thirty seconds because I'm a math whiz, bitch. Period. The goal is, is you got to start, uh, start at the bottom. So I started at the bottom with the winning. I was like, okay, if two rapping equals one winning, and one rapping equals four heller. Okay, so I had to really think. I was like, one rapping equals four hellers. Two rapping. Equals one winning. So one win is two. I ate it up and I got 15, right? <laughs> so I texted Lee. I was like, Lee, I don't know if I just ate this up in 30 seconds or not, but I think I did. 15 was what I got. And Lee was like, bitch, it's 15. Girl, the way I would have been done. Girl, done. Been first out of there. Would you have helped? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> you look at, you so I ran off it? and one of them was like, oh, what'd you get? I would kept running. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Oops. You got to help the other team. Not right now. Not right now. Right now. We were too close. There's too many of us, and we was too close. So if it was just one other team, sure. I would but be right scared because that's, that's what I'm learning, too, in these previous seasons. Like, having yeah, that kind of, like, unity, you it really can help. Because uh, it's just like it's like a payback. It's like, oh, you help me, I help you. Like, we, I've seen teams literally complete roadblocks and detours together just to stay ahead of other teams. Like, it's crazy. But this, so this is, is what I would say. Let's say let's say they ask. What, let's say they what you gonna try? I'm gonna be like, I don't know. I'm gonna just try it, and then I'll come back and tell y'all if I get it. And then I just wouldn't come back. Oop! I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so boom. <laughs> they're all struggling to figure that out. Why they're struggling? Um, like you said, Greg and Don and Corey and Rob. They're on the second ferry over there. Um, <laughs> Milena and Andrea still lost. 
<sighs> they're trying to find the ferry. They don't know where to go. And Robin and Chelsea finally make it to the ferry. They got off of the wrong one. They went on to the right one. <laughs> so we got more people. <laughs> we got more people coming up to the roadblock. At the roadblock, Morgan eats it up. Morgan is like me. That's my sister, my Franklin mm-hmm. sister. What'd she say? She said she uh, went to uh, uh, the top NBA school in the world, bitch. She did say that. Now, what school is that? Let's Google it. Because maybe she lied. I mean, why, why, why she got to be a liar? Top NBA school in the world is... Why didn't this pop up? It's pissing me off. It's really just not popping up. Best school for me. 20 was the best school. Stanford. Ever. Stanford. She did go to Stanford. I think she did say that. Mother. Ooh. Degreed. You said degreed. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. Boom. So she finished. Big fast business. Fast. She set up. Yeah, she said she did business. NBA. Oh, NBA. She said NBA. Big business. Big business, bitch. That's my degree, too. That's why we that's why we eat. We, that's why. Well, I'm not doing that. So y'all would have got that together. We we, we would have, me and her, we see each other. We could. She didn't tell nobody either. Right, she took the fuck off. I said, period. She did. So she was done. Italy, Todd, and Garrett, they all decide they need to work together. So they all work together. They get the same answer. They get it right. They finish. So everybody's finishing up. While they're finishing up, Greg and John and Rob and Corey are pulling up. And they get finished fast as hell because Greg and John, what they do? Technotronics. And I guess Rob and Corey are just smart. Rob, I'm mean, Corey. Yeah, Corey is just a genius, apparently. He figured it out in two seconds. I was like, oh. I was like, that- Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smarty. <laughs> but um, but so John was, real fast. It was hilarious because John was like, "Oh my god, I don't think I have enough." He was, uh, Corey was like, "I mean, you have enough. You need to redo your math." I'm like, oh, <laughs> period. Okay. Yeah. Period. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Mm-hmm. So Robin and Chelsea they pull up, and what's Chelsea's um? Chelsea's concept is, I'm going to just guess. Yeah. I'm just going to give them six. She's just, she bring them four, four, five, six. So she just kept doing it until she went to 15, and I respect it. No, she did what she had to do because by the time she was done, what's his name? Greg and John. This is why they didn't lose this leg like they would have. Not playing shit. They probably wouldn't. But this is why they did so good because <laughs> while they're finishing, Greg and John are looking for directions. So Greg and John did all the work, got directions. And by the time that Robin and Chelsea got to their car, Greg and John are getting in their car with the directions, mm-hmm. and they're pulling off. And Robin and Chelsea like, we just gonna follow them. And from then on, they was in first, just like hey. that, bitch. I ain't gonna lie, they ate it up. I can't, I can't get mad. I can't get mad. They did. So and many then... people. So many people left before them. So the fact that they ended up in first is like, ooh, Greg and John got them directions, bitch. No, great navigation. I said I can really see them winning. I can really see them winning. This is our second yeah, consecutive like number one, game. right? This say consecutive number one? Two in a row. The eight that uh-huh. Kings. And then this one we see. Yep. Andrew Melanie get on the whole wrong ferry. They exchanged with some rain. And it, I, it pisses me off when the locals don't be helping. Yeah, mm-hmm. You knew damn well this wasn't the fuck. Are you the money exchanger? About. Did you see other people like us? You see other teams? Mm-hmm. No, no more mm-hmm. teams. Oh, okay. They think they get first. I will say you gotta be specific. I would have shown him that cute car. Ten Witten or whatever it said, but he act like he would have gave it to him anyway. The thing, no, I no, he was definitely not hearing anything they were saying for real. Mm-hmm. He said, "Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah." Mm-hmm. Like, put your hand back. Why are you putting your hand out? It's on the whole wrong ferry. And then my thing, this is my thing, like, I would hope we wouldn't be getting on wrong <laughs> stuff. <like> <laughs> I would really hope we wouldn't be getting on wrong ferry. Like, we really gotta read the name of the ferry or something. Cause, damn. No, literally. Gosh, or maybe it didn't have a name. I don't know. They did a specific name. Okay, well yeah. Let's make sure we get, we getting it. So me and Lee would be in first. Period. Maybe not if the navigator. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not if the navigation wasn't even. Was like, no, I think we would have been good. I feel like the detours went ooh. Mm-hmm. All of these detours. So everybody's driving to Cologne. My thing is, I wrote down Cologne, and I was like, I don't know what they're saying. Are they saying Cologne? Cologne? Like, I thought it was a German word. So I just yeah. wrote down Cologne. I come to find out. <laughs> I it's speak Cologne. German. It's like, Bye. it's given I'm a German myself. Okay. Because <laughs> I knew it was Cologne. And it Period. Was. Everybody's lost, though. Nobody. Everybody is lost. It's just a montage of teams losing. Nobody knows where to go. Lena's, Lena, 
<laughs> Lena's driving. I don't understand. <laughs> Morgan and Lena are just so hilarious. <laughs> Why is Lena taking right instead of left? Lena is driving and Morgan Morgan's is saying, okay, and Morgan's Lisa, like, Lisa left. Morgan's like, go left. And she goes right. But this is my thing, Lee. I have a question. Was your left and right something you struggled with as a kid? No. Really? Me neither. But I have friends. I know friends who, like, they really just was not getting it. They was not getting left and right. I don't know. For me, this just feels like the right. Like this, it feels like the right side of my body. Like literally, I feel like it's nerves in my that brain. scream right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every part of my right side, I just feel it. Like it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Y'all understand? Post, post in the comments if you get. You're just saying. talking. I, I, I know what I, I know what I feel. Okay. But Lena never learned it. Oh so Lena went right instead of left. And then this is when we get Anna Lee and Steve. I've Steve been is done. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. I've been like, I don't know. And Elise kind of talking to him a little crazy. Because <laughs> she has been. She really, truly has been. And I was like, okay, but maybe. She really, Steve. truly has been. <laughs> I was like, maybe Steve is cool with it. I don't know. I don't know. But so what's going on is, and Elise, she's like trying to find a navigation. She's like, dad, where do I go? Where do I go? And, and he's not helping, though. He's not helping. He's literally just back there not doing much. And he's like, I mean, I don't know, Anna Lee. I can't see. And <laughs> Why can't they sit in the front with them? You don't think they're allowed, right? I mean, maybe I mean, they're not. Every allowed. I've seen, they have to be in the. They're in the back seat, so I'm assuming they have to be. But I feel like maybe it's to, like in the front help prevent seeing like that, like make force them to kind of navigate. I don't Basically. know. Me, I'd be sticking my head out the window. I'm That's what girl. Like even if I'm in the back, I'd be in that middle seat, real, uh, real up close and personal. I'll be basically right next to you. Okay, so this is what we need to go. This Not next to my head. Well, you, I, I would be, it would be me because you would be driving. Oh, period. I'm like, where? Britain, where? There. <laughs> I would, bitch, my head. You're going to see my hand. <laughs> You're not going to see my head. I will shoot my hand up there. Okay, so, 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 so this is what happened. And Ali was like, well, you need to pay attention. You, would be, you need to pay attention. He's like, I can't see. And like, I can't see. And he was like, you're going to sit your ass back here and see how I feel. <laughs> Well, they would really be lost. <laughs> oh, really? Like you've I done such a great Texas job. Touring. I love the Texas touring. <laughs> like you've done such a great job. And Annalie was like, well, you're supposed to be the navigator. <laughs> 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 so Steve is over it. Steve is basically like, you can't keep talking to people like that. He said, I mean, you can't. Just, you ain't just going to keep talking to me like he's that. He's like, like Steve getting good. I wonder where he's from. What part of Texas he's from. He's, <laughs> he gets a little gangster. I love... <laughs> A southern Texan, as long as they're not racist, of course, because that's scary. But I love a good southern Texan because a lot of, from what I've noticed, seen, whether you're Latino, black, white, whatever, the daddies, like the daddies, you don't have a little hood. Like, you don't have a little, like, you're not going to talk to me like that. Like, that's what Steve said. You're not going to keep talking to me like that. <laughs> like, yeah, King. Exactly. Well, I don't like this dynamic. They need to, he needs to go back and start letting her talk to him any kind of way because look how low they fell. Look, he was being so kind because she. Look, yeah, they get first when he let her talk and he just sit there. That's true. So, let's go back to that dynamic, Steve. That's true. Child. So they got to go to the Grunts and Gone Clone. The Con <laughs> Where? The Grunts and Gone. Gerzen, Gerzenich Cone, which is just a carnival, bitch. They gotta go. To and it's like for this random ass task, why didn't they send them straight to the other roadblock? You didn't like it. Everybody liked it. No, I didn't like it. And no, they didn't you know like what? it either. I they think said they, it was them, random. I think they forced everybody to say they liked it because for some reason we got a diary room about every single person's perspective of it. I love this carnival. Like, were y'all getting paid? I know. Was I was seeing a lot of. I didn't. I didn't know what that was. That was weird. People, they they did say that too. <laughs> they did say that too. Corey and Rob did say that. But Corey and Rob also said, "Oh, I just love." Rob. Like, I feel like they were forced to say something nice because everyone said something nice, even though they were saying in real life while they were walking. Something like, oh, that was weird. But in the diary room, they're like, well, you know, I had a good time at the carnival. It was a paid promo. I could tell. I know paid promo when I for the carnival. This, 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 uh, I don't know. Random carnival in the middle of carnival. Of it was like in an office building. It had like rotating, um, it was like in the basement of an office. What? <laughs> or like something. I was like, where are we? It was so random. <laughs> but Greg and John pull up first, and Robin and Chelsea follow an ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Why are you gadgets? But no, for real. Literally, they were right behind them. That would have been us, bitch. That would have been us. Right. We would have been right behind Robin and Chuck. Right there. <laughs> Pull it right up in. But not our costume. <laughs> the costumes are cute. I love the costume. <gasps> Do you think they get to keep those? No. Damn it. They're going to keep it. They're so beautiful, no? Okay, girl. <laughs> They're cute as fuck. Comment if you like the costume. Shut up. No. No <laughs> one's going to comment. <laughs> <laughs> we should go. No, this is just a random place. They just got to ride a bike, literally. Honestly, through a parade in the in the uh, office building, meet, uh, office meeting building. That's what it was. Yeah. So they do it. <laughs> it was literally office. Meeting. So they finish the office meet, and then they got to make their way on foot to Tonka Donka Donka Brook to find your next clue, which is just a bridge. I don't know why they use bridge of locks. Bridge of locks. locks. Bridge of Have you seen that, movie, you know that movie Missing? I kept telling you to watch, and they, and, and they had the little uh, what were they at Mexico? And then the paid actor was there. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all ain't seen Missing, go watch Missing on Netflix. <sighs> That's it. Yet. Why am I promo on Netflix? Don't do that, <laughs> right, girl? This is not paid. <laughs> at all. They forgive us some money. <laughs> so boom. After they leave, it was very quick. Todd and Ashley come, and Robin Cor- Corey come, and this is how you know like the navigation was just all off because. These are the people who finished the roadblock like first. And then now they're, I don't know, it's just all over the place. I'm like, where are the people at? So, anyways, they're arriving third and fourth, and they quickly finished the course too. So everybody, all those teams are headed towards the Love Lock Bridge. Why? <laughs> this is what pisses me off because they Adrian and Melena. They get across on the wrong ferry and they're getting directions to the right castle. I said, oh God, it's over. Like, it's over. There's no coming back from it at this point. Like, there was a slight chance that they could come back from it. And then, right when I saw this, I said, it's over. It's It's over. over. So, so they're literally heading up to the castle. They open the whole roadblock letter. They choose who's going to do it. It's Andrea. Andrea pulls up (laughs) and she sees she has to use the coins. And she has three different sized coins. It's like a medium coin, a mama big coin, and a small coin. It's just three in her hand. And she's reading the puzzle, and she's like, I feel like I have the wrong coin. <laughs> what I love about them is, like, they're, they're, they're smart. Like, I feel like a lot of people would have been like, okay, what do I do with these three? And, no. It must be <laughs> no. <laughs> they would have gave up. Yeah. But they didn't. But Andrea Melanda did. She saw she had three coins. She was like, well, we need to go back and get the right coin. <laughs> Like, what's, mind you, everybody else is at a carnival. <laughs> like, I'm just like, fuck, bro. Like, y'all it's are, over. y'all are going, it's over. So, boom. Uh, everybody else is getting lost driving to the car, to, to the Cologne Carnival. Joel and Garrett are getting lost. Morgan and Lena are getting lost. And this is when Morgan Morgan always have to switch driving. They get heated. So, Morgan's like, just let me drive, Lena. Let me drive. That's going to be me and you. They argue so much. Like, do they really argue like sisters? Well, they are sisters. And they are you like sisters? And and, and... Deb. <laughs> and I feel like yeah. Steve and Lee accidentally find the correct area. I'm not gonna lie. You think it was accidental? <laughs> Me too. Because well, they put it. Is this it? And, and he was like, like well, what know, is, well, what does it say? And then he said, like, "Okay, great. We just pulled in there." <laughs> so she was just driving. She, but was, hey. she made it there. Maybe she. Yeah, maybe yeah. she made when she said, "If he was driving, they would be even more lost." Oop. Oop. So at the bridge, we find out it's a roadblock. So you know what's funny? The first when thing Greg and John ripped it and they saw it was a roadblock, they looked at each other real crazy. Like, they was like, because not another roadblock. Back to back. You will be, be they back. got them doing anything. Roadblock, task, roadblock. So Lee, this would have been you. You would have to go find a lock. You think you could I could have did this. I could have did this. How was you going to get there oh. early? Huh? How are you going to get the code to unlock it? Asking the locals like everybody else was doing. This, okay. That's one thing I learned about Amazing Race, girl. Absolutely. I'm asking the motherfucking local. Do you, where we at? Do you think there's points where, like, somebody asks somebody and they just, like, you know, I'm going somewhere like, else. You better walk away. Okay, you got it. Okay, maybe we can do this. I was thinking that, though. Like, people really be so willing to give up their phones. Like, oh, okay. You just these two randoms. Americans, hey, can I? I'm in a race. Can I use your phone? Oh, oh maybe they think I'm thinking if I don't know the language, I'd be like, oh my god, these people are lost. Let me help these people because they are lost in a <laughs> they way. They are, yeah, in, in a in a way. 
<laughs> Very lost, actually. So <laughs> they get to the roadblock. The other person who didn't do the first roadblock has to do this, right? So they just got to find a lock and they got to unlock it. Very simple. Mm-hmm. Very the combination simple. is the numbers on the cologne. The very oh, first cologne of cologne. Yeah. Period. <laughs> period. Right behind them is Robin and Chester, of course. At the <laughs> carnival, Stephen and Annalise finish. Um, and Annalise says she likes this because it let her know to take a step back and let her foot off of Steve's neck the way it's been on his neck all season. <laughs> She's like, you know what? I just need to calm down and, and I just need to not be stressed. And Steve was like, yeah, I mean, it's going to be stressful. So you just need to make sure not to be stressed. <laughs> and it's like, period. Y'all better clear it up. So yeah, she's going to calm down, hopefully. I think that would, I think I'm worried. I about hope they don't. Like I said, the dynamic works. They got first with it. So he needs to calm down. He needs to let her be angry. Yes. Period. I feel like it's, it's, I'm scared for them because, you know, you can't be doing all of that. Like, for me, in my mind, at least, Morgan and Lena, y'all can't win. Y'all just argue way too much. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Girl, that is not true. But you've seen evidence. Yes. Teams win hating each other. I've seen two in the span of, like, the week I've been binging. Teams were straight up arguing seasons 28 and season 20. The teams that won hated each other. You know, it's crazy. Always berated each other. All I know is last season where the last three teams were very nice to each other the whole time. Mm-hmm. Molly and Emily, Luisa and Michelle, and Derek and Claire. I, they were like, in the, in the every other team. That's girl, if it worked, it worked. And it's been working for Steve and Emily. You see, they didn't know. He was, he was fighting back. And it, that, 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 he, that, just that just be, he just need to be a puncher bag for this. <laughs> to get that million dollars. I don't know. Like, look. I'd do it. <laughs> I um... It just all depends on how you handle each other, though, really. That's true. So at the bridge, Greg finds his lock. It's a detour. The detour is just for kicks or matter of taste. What are we doing? The thing is, I would be like, I would not want to memorize anything. Me so Me I wanted the kicking. And I Me think too. even if we had some type of lead or was like in the top three, which I think we could have been, we could have lost it here. Cause that you just got to do the, you just got to kick first. Like Corey and Rob. Like, I you think you would have figured it out like Corey and Rob? Oh. I think I would have. I think I could be able to kick Ghetto. a little accurately. Autumn fucking um sirens. That was you, right? Yeah, with me. Okay, no, I'm you're in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to let the audience know that was not me. My area is very silent. But okay. uh, <laughs> I literally live next to like a fire department. So you want a cookie? Because I do too. Wait, I was. I was. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we cannot get on this raise. You'll be asking me if I want to cook. But, uh, I, I would. I would. <laughs> Literally, I, I think we would. I think we would just be able to do just for kicks. As long as you hit it on two targets, I can do the math and I'll just figure out the other two. You think I'm you would have worked that? Because I was getting, I was like, when Corey started figuring out equations, I said, equations? I could have did the math. The math is not going to be the problem. The problem would be you. Well, really, me accurately landing those last two kicks. You got to get the right numbers to add up to sixty six. So that would have been like the. Ugh. But I think we could have did it. Like they got it on five tries. I just feel like we wouldn't have been able to. I mean, they was like, I don't know. He, he, can't, he, he worked out a strategy on how to kick it, and then I mean, now that part I don't think I would have been able to clock. But I still think I could have kicked accurately, or honestly, just got lucky enough. Like I don't know. I mean, you, you, you be kicking soccer. You, be, you used to play soccer a little bit. I used to play soccer a little bit. You can kick for sure. I can definitely kick. <laughs> um, we'll just have to see. I mean, if we didn't get it, we didn't get it. We will. Yeah. So what they got? It would have made it longer than Andrew. You got to do six, 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 six. No shade to them. No but, shade. But it would have been sixty-six points and four shots with the soccer ball, or you have to identify nine different monsters by taste. And I just feel like, yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to try it. I wouldn't have like something that. I could do. Identify nine. Which different- says, like, I feel like I would definitely like you know when we get on one day. Um, we'll have to learn how to do that because memorizing <laughs> and a lot of memory comps challenges, whatever the fuck. Greg and John choose matters. <laughs> <laughs> Robin still looking for her, her thing at the bridge, and Todd and Ashley pull up to the bridge. Robin gets her, her lock and she runs past Ashley, and Ashley's like, Oh, what do they look like? What do the locks look like? <laughs> and Robin just keeps running. I don't know it's why. She thought so she was going to help her. This is so consistent. Robin and Chelsea just are not going to help. Stop asking. Honestly, I will stop it. I will stop. I'm not going to ask these these ladies anything else <laughs> at all. 
<laughs> so they choose matter of taste also, of course, because they're following Greg and John. So <laughs> I'm playing it anyway. But anyways, at the castle. Because <laughs> why are we even there? Andrew and Milena, they make it and they make it to the roadblock finally, don't they? Yes, they see that it's the wrong ferry. They went back and they have to find. Yeah, they go back to the ferry they went to. They find out that that ferry was the wrong ferry and they have to find the correct ferry because they earlier went to the wrong ferry. So they thought they could go back to the wrong ferry to get the right coins, but they couldn't get the right coins because they were at the wrong ferry. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just so much that's going on. Meanwhile, everybody's at the deep four. The la- uh, they've done two roadblocks. <laughs> like, it's over. Like, it's over. I always feel good. Well, it, that he can't because what if, like, Joel never found his lock ever and then they caught up? But please explain. So, at the detour, Greg and John, they're doing the tasting. I would hate to do this tasting shit. I would hate it. I don't like mustard. Well, I do. And but you I gotta remember these, like, the names. I don't know how they were doing it. Like, the names were hard. They remember them so fast. And you have to remember what flavor was the name, and you have to say the name. Like, I'd rather kick a ball. <laughs> Literally. I'd rather kick a ball. Um, Corey and Rob pull up to the lock bridge. Ashley finds her lock, and then Rob finds his very quickly. And while Ashley is getting, <laughs> Rob is hilarious. Because while Ashley is getting her um, cold from a local, Rob is like, well, let me hurry up and go over there <laughs> and try to get that cold. All right. That would be me, bitch. Like, same, bitch. So and she helped up. him. I thought that was real sweet. That was sweet. She was I love when the teams help each other. It'd be cute when they help each and other. And this is the thing. Here, I would help because her reasoning was so perfect. She was like, I know there's like four teams behind me. I don't care to help them. I get that. There's a so lot of people are like that. There's so many teams behind us. Like, who gives a fuck? So that's basically what she said. And she gave him the code. So they, be, they both get done. And Ashley and Todd say they're going to Just for Kicks. And Corey and Rob are also going Just for Kicks. But Ashley was already like, I don't know how to play darts. I don't. I don't I'm not good at soccer. He was like, he, he was like, just for kicks. Yeah, but I'm not good at. I'm not really I'm not good, good at. I'm not a sports it. person. Like I'm not. So just for kicks, she said. And it's like, listen. Okay. <laughs> that was so crazy. It was funny because I was like, why is he not listening? And then we see later on, like, listen to her. Weird. That was crazy. He did not care what she was saying. Like she was saying things, and he, he was, was like, like, just for darts. <laughs> I right. don't. I'm, what? Like, I don't understand what you're saying. Like, he genuinely did not understand why she was talking. Let's go. <laughs> Rob is still sitting here. Just like... Uh, Annalie, Annalie and Steve, they pull up to the lock bridge as they're leaving. And then back at the carnival, people are the people were all over the place now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because it was so many Garrett, shit. You gotta go here, you gotta go here, you gotta go here. Literally. Joel and Garrett and, and Annalie <laughs> They're just now finishing the carnival or just now getting to the carnival. And Andrew and Milena are still looking for the correct ferry. <sighs> they done asked the local for directions. He told them to go 30 kilometers this way. I wouldn't even know what a kilometer is. Mm. Kilometer? You mean yards, feet? Miles? Like, <laughs> I don't know what that is. So they had to go 30 kilometers and then they went 30 kilometers and somebody else was like, well, no, it's the other way. 15 kilometers. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh uh mm. So oh, they get to the detour. Cool. Todd and Ashley, they pull up and they're struggling. Yeah. Ashley not kicking nothing right at all. She's kicking it all wrong. Todd is like, Todd Girl, got to right? We would have picked it and struggled. Lee, you can't kick the ball? We would, I thought we would have had to switch. We would probably have switched with Todd and Ashley. No, we you can't, can't kick it. the ball? You can, it's about... It's they about were, I, this is my thing. They weren't even getting it on the target. If you can't even hit that big ass target, then you're you right. We need to switch. <laughs> I think, I think you could have hit the target. I really do think you could. Hopefully. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Does that work for you, positive reinforcement? No. No reinforcement. Just shut up. Yes. That's not going to work for me. We would be a terrible team. Do it in your mind. Impossible. That doesn't mean anything to me. We well, would be a terrible team. I'm such a like talker. Like I'm the type of person, you got this, and, and you can do it, and just do that. And boom, 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 boom. Don't do that to me. <laughs> We Silence is a virtue. We can't do And then if you being That's quiet, well, I need, right if I need reinforcement, you being quiet, I'm going to be mad because why are you not talking? <laughs> why are we silent? I can do it for you, but don't do it for me. Because then I'm going to get confused and then I'm going to accidentally do it for you. Oh my God. So they so, leave. 
because they can't do it. <laughs> they leave and Corey and Rob pulled up and they was like, it's hard. And Corey and Rob is hard. Corey and Rob was stuck, but they still kept, they still went to try to do it. So Corey and Rob are going to try to do it. And then that matter of taste, we see Robin and Chelsea and Greg and John, they there. Greg and John is eating it up a little bit. Um, they struggled the first time, they messed up, and they went back and they tried again and they got it right. So now they can race to the pit stop. They finishing up. Greg and John ate this leg up real they nasty, did. real bad. No one, nobody was even close. Mm-hmm. They said Robert and Chelsea because they followed them, and then and with their own lead because we would also follow them. Period. We would be right behind them, and just for kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Back on the lock bridge. Um, Steve, you know what's hilarious? Steve found his lock. And he was asking random strangers if they knew the date. He didn't even ask for them to look it up or nothing. He said, do you know the date of a cologne? And they gave him the answer. I was like, ah, not Germans just know the answer to this. But uh, <laughs> maybe it's popular? I don't Over know. there, yeah. I th- yeah. Period. So they choose <laughs> the mustard detour. Um, Andrew and Melinda still don't know where they're going. Well, no, they found it this time. This they finally found it. Okay, I wouldn't know. <laughs> was like, they passed it like 15 times. Oh, I was like, yeah, I was oh like, God. And he was like, we did? And she was like, yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this 15 times before. So they finally got the Witten, but now they need to go to the first roadblock. <sighs> Hop back to the second roadblock. Morgan and Lena are at the lock bridge. And Lena eats it up real fast. She does. She ate that up. Because if you remember, the last time she had to find the needle in the haystack, she was struggling. She was almost went home when they were trying to match those tiles. Oh, yeah. So she did good this time. She or Was that Lena? It was. She redeemed yeah. herself. She really, really did. Um, Joel and Garrett pull up. They think they're in last place. I would, too, but they're not. They should be. Um, they're not. So that's wonderful. Boom. People start finishing. Good. So I, just for kicks, Corey and Rob, they trying to do the math, what Lee was talking about earlier. And then that matter of taste, Robin and Chelsea, they finally get done. We see Todd and Ashley pull up. So now people are going to start arriving to the pit stop because Greg and John arrived to the pit stop. And then Robin and Chelsea, they end up getting second. They arrive right after them. <sighs> Andrea Milena at the castle. Not giving up. Not giving up. That's, that's yeah, what I will that's say. Right. They are doing the roadblocks. She finishes the roadblocks. So that's wonderful. Everybody else is at the detour. At matter of taste, Stephen and Ali struggling to pronounce the names. They got that twang in them. They can't say Donald Trump and all that. Barka Dan and Brinka. They couldn't say it. I wouldn't have been able to say it. Uh, and just for kicks, Corey realizes this meticulous strategy. Like, maybe you should have been on Survivor. That's why I'm saying. I was like, <laughs> this may be difficult because the way he was explaining it, I was like, what? He was like, I learned that similar to real darts, you have to make sure the range of motion is just as little as possible. So what I decided to do was plan like, my what? strategically. <laughs> I'm like, OK, uh, Jimmy Neutron. I was like, literally thinking that, though. Like, he would be great on like a Big Brother or Survivor. I think that's what he Challenge, do. USA 3 with Anna Lee. OK. And Louise. And Jeremy and Liam. And Jeremy and Liam. And Liam that and Jeremy. Come on, uh. come on, come on. Uh, boom, at the taste shit. Morgan and Lena's there. Stephen and Ali is still there. Stephen and Lee kind of ate it up, too. High key. Stephen and Lee kind of ate it up, too. They, they finished. Morgan and Lena finished right after them. So, bitches is getting done. I know that's right. Um, and <laughs> Andrea finishes her roadblock. Period. I have written down, Laura, I don't even remember where they need to go to next. <laughs> Because I did it. I, they, but they finished the roadblock. They got one thing done. You know what? And at least they got it figured out. Bitch. At least they got it figured out. Um, so, boom. Everybody rides to the pit stop. Todd and Ashley, Rob and Corey, Stephen and Lee, Morgan and Lena. The only people left is Joel and Garrett and Andrew and Melina. And Joel was struggling to find his lock. I was like, please, God. Let him never fight. <laughs> is, like, I, I knew the time difference was way too much. I like, was like, Lord, I, I, had no hope. Hope. I was hoping they just didn't even put please, it up. There. Please hide that lock. <laughs> I was hoping there just wasn't enough lock, and he would never have found it. Like, I just needed an equal lock or something. Something, something. <laughs> something, but um. <laughs> so they finished. He ends up finding it. They finished. They must have detoured. They they hot dog. They get checked in. They was they was enjoying their time. time. They were literally taking their time because they was like, oh, well, we lost. And so they pull up. Phil tells them that they're still in. They were surprised. Slip the panic to the side. And then 
<laughs> oh I hate it because I've never even I've been so many seasons and this is my first time seeing it. But this really? is why I love it. No, I oh, love it though. Sorry. I love it though because if Adrian and they gonna go out, they gonna go out camp. They're my sisters. The carnival is packing up. <laughs> no one is there. <laughs> the dancers, the 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 jugglers, the 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 horses, the carriages are all gone. It's empty, and you just see a bunch of balloons and just residue on the ground. That's <laughs> <laughs> the see. Phil, <laughs> Phil is alone, not even with his companion that he usually has next to the mat. Phil is alone, standing in the middle of the room. They could at least brought the mat to the room. <laughs> no mat. Waiting, because I they, they didn't make it to the mat. Waiting, <laughs> and Andrew Milena walk in. The way... If I would have walked in that room, my heart would have sunk <laughs> my booty hole. I'm like, why is he here? I would be like, no, Phil. No. Like, don't put me on it. I would be dramatic. So they walk in. They're very understanding. And they just say that it was a good time because they get to spend it with their friend. I love that. Yeah, they've been friends for, I think she said, 27 years. And in the exit video, in the interview, uh, Andrea was saying that... Uh, um, um, they've been applying for like years, like in college, one time after college, and you know, they finally were able to take the opportunity to, they, to go. They casted them this time, and I just really enjoyed them. I really did. I hope they cast more people like them, them again. Come on, second chances, unfinished business. Come on, give us another one. Yeah, come on, like when I they, love the Philly Johns. I do. One day, I wish that could have been me and Lee, but it just never will, girl. We're gonna win the amazing race. No, bitch. We're winning. We're winning. You're going to have to accept it. I'm not binging these seasons for no reason. I'm taking notes. So be ready. You can't take notes on not getting lost. Get ready. All right, y'all. Tune in next week. We're also doing Survivor. Big Brother finale tonight. Pop up. Bye. <laughs>